Hey Fudge family, Jennifer here, and welcome to Bunches of Lunches. This week we're heading back to California, and life will be back to normal for a little while until we get ready for our next big trip. So sit back and enjoy this week of fun and easy lunch ideas brought to you by Audible. Okay guys, so it is Monday and it's time to go back home. We had such a fun trip and we will definitely be back. Now we ended up getting to the airport really early today so we have quite a lot of time to hang out and check out all the awesome things at the airport. This is a really interesting airport, you guys. It has a fountain, there's a hotel inside. Of course, I love the Disney store. And I was super excited to see the Universal store. We didn't end up having time to go there on this trip, so hopefully next time we'll be able to go because we are huge Harry Potter fans. Let me know in the comments down below if you love Harry Potter too. While we were waiting at the airport, the kids got to try some new goldfish crackers to snack on. These are the Toy Story 4 limited edition ones. They are adorable. And I found these at Target in case you're looking for them too. Now this is going to be a five hour long flight, you guys. So I definitely wanted to pack lunch and snacks and a few treats as well. And you guys, anytime we go through the airport, I like to pack foods that are completely sealed. That way, in case they open them going through security, nothing gets contaminated. So in the lunchbox, I've packed an Uncrustable. This is a strawberry peanut butter and jelly flavored one. These were frozen when I threw them in the lunchbox, so by lunchtime, they'll be perfect. I also packed some hard boiled eggs. These are an excellent source of protein and all the kids love them. For one of the snacks today, I also threw in this Fiber One cookie. Now this definitely tastes like a delicious chocolate chip cookie, but like the package says, it's full of fiber, so that's definitely a plus. Then I also packed this little lunch kit. I love that this is all sealed up, so I don't have to worry about any of my containers getting lost. This is a really good mixture, you guys. There's broccoli and baby carrots, a little tiny thing of ranch for dipping. This also has almonds and a little cheddar cheese stick. I'm pretty sure the kids will love these. And then here's something special that I just put in Lily's lunch because she's pretty much the only one who loves pickles. I found this in the deli section of Walmart. So in this bag, there's lots of slices of pickles without the juice, you guys. So it's not gonna be messy. I don't have to worry about getting it through security, you know, with all the liquids and restrictions and things. The only downside is this is not resealable, so she pretty much has to eat all of them. Otherwise, it might be a little messy. And then of course, I've included a very special treat. I've given each kid their own Choco Treasure. Now for the girls, I picked out Shopkins, and the boys got emoji ones. So it's basically a chocolate egg with a little toy surprise inside. So they can have the treat and then they get to play with the toy while they're on the plane. And then of course I did not pack a drink today because we're not allowed to. So the kids will just have water or juice while on the plane. Now you guys know whenever we take a long flight like this, one of the things we love to do is to pick an audiobook on Audible before we board the plane. Audible has so many books for all ages and right now you can get your very first book as well as two Audible original titles for free when you start your 30-day trial. So take the time to listen on Audible. All you have to do is visit audible.com slash the family fudge or text family fudge to 500 500 to get started. For today's lunch, I have two very special guests. You might recognize them from the Disney Junior Show, Puppy Dog Pals. Let me know in the comments down below if you have a Puppy Dog Pal fan in your house. I definitely have a few in mine. Lily and Griffin love this show, and I think it's pretty cute too. So for this puppy-themed lunch, I'm gonna start by making some good old classic sandwiches with a twist. For these sandwiches, I'm just using some whole wheat bread, mayo, mustard, some uncured salami, and I'll also be using several different kinds of cheese and a few other ingredients, but you have to wait to see those. For this sandwich, I'm going to leave the crust on. I'm gonna smear just a little bit of mayonnaise, this sandwich is for Miss Lily, so I am including some mustard as well. I'm gonna pile on my salami and then close it up. And you're probably wondering, what about the cheese? Well, for this sandwich, I'm not putting cheese 
inside, I'm putting cheese on top. I'm gonna take my Baby Bell cheese and very carefully cut it down the center so I have two circles, well, kind of circles. I'm gonna go ahead and place them right here on the bread and these are gonna become the eyes for our super cute puppy sandwich. One of the things I think is so cute about Bingo and Rolly are their huge puppy dog eyes. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and cut some more cheese. This time I'm using cheddar and my crinkle cutter to create some very puppy-like ears. One for this side and one for that side. Next, I'm adding two slices of cucumber. So our puppy's gonna have green eyes, just like Bingo. Now it's time to add some olives. Two on the eyes and one for the nose and two little pieces for the mouth. This sandwich is looking so cute, it's puptastic. For the fruit today, I'm gonna add a combination of green grapes and red grapes. And to go along with this lunch, I'm adding some little puppy dog food picks. These are so adorable. I love them. For our veggie, I'm keeping it pretty simple. I'm just gonna throw in some baby carrots and a few slices of cucumber as well. And then of course, I'm gonna be including some ranch to dip in. But you guys, I decided to bring back the homemade ranch. I used to make this all the time and it is so good. I will go ahead and leave a link to the recipe down below if you wanna check it out. It is super easy and the whole family loves it. So I've just added a little bit to our container and I'm going to add it right into the lunchbox. Now to go along with this lunch today I also have a few more things to throw in starting with this special treat. I found these graham cracker cookies that look just like dog treats, you guys. These are also known as Scooby Snacks. They really do look like real dog treats, but trust me, they don't taste like them. These are actually cinnamon flavored graham crackers. And then for snack today, I'm also adding in some popcorn, otherwise known as popcorn for today's lunch. And last but not least, I'm gonna be adding in some juice today. I got these brand new juice bottles from Good To Grow. Anytime Good To Grow creates a new character top, I'm always on the hunt for them. Oh yes, and I actually have several different flavors for the kids to choose from. I have fruit flavored water, apple juice, and fruit and veggie medley. Time to see how the kids did today. Now I did wanna mention that Lily and Griffin ended up sharing one sandwich because a whole one would definitely be too much for them. But overall, it looks like they really love this lunch, especially those puppy cookies. Hey guys, and welcome to Wednesday. For today's lunch, I'm going with a Frozen theme. We're pretty excited for that movie to come out in November. So as you can see for today's lunch, I've decided to go with another sandwich, but this time instead of regular PB&J, I have something very new to try. This is called mixed nut butter with seeds and I found it at Costco. This is a mixture of almonds, cashews, pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, and flax seeds. Now this sounds amazing, but I do have to say because it's a natural nut butter, I did have to stir it for quite a long time before it was ready to spread on the bread. Hey, that rhymed. So now I'm adding a good amount to one slice of bread, pretty much keeping it right in the center. And that's because I'm gonna be cutting the crusts off later. Next, I'm adding some sliced bananas, and then since it's a frozen theme, I'm using my snowflake cutter to cut it out. And there you have it. This sandwich looks delicious with all that nut butter and the bananas. I know the kids are going to love it. For the vegetable today, I decided to add carrots again because they reminded me of Olaf's carrot nose. I love Olaf, he's so funny. So I'm just adding a handful in there with some ranch, of course, the homemade kind. For our fruit today, I'm adding a mixture of strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries. I'll go ahead and add them to the lunchbox and I'm gonna go ahead and decorate them with these cute frozen picks. On one side we have Anna and Elsa and Olaf is on the other side. Now I was really surprised how many frozen themed foods my grocery store had right off the shelf. Like these Go-Gurts for example. The outside is so cute with all the characters on there. And there's actually two different flavors. Strawberry Ice Castle or Vanilla Flurry. Let me know in the comments down below which flavor you would choose. If it was up to me, I would pick vanilla. <laughs> I really like vanilla yogurt. And then for an added snack today, I'm also including some string cheese. These ones already have their frozen characters on the outside, so they're perfect for today's lunch and super easy. I'm gonna go with Anna and Elsa and Olaf. I think that's the cutest one. And then last but not least for our sweet treat today, I'm adding in three little snowballs. Well, actually, they're powdered donut holes, but they really do look like snowballs, if you ask me. And for the drink today, I'm just gonna go ahead and give the kids water, but I am gonna reuse our frozen bottles 
to go with today's theme. Now I think today's lunch turned out super cool, but if the kids don't think so, they'll just have to let it go. But overall, it looks like they really love this lunch. Hi guys, and welcome to Thursday. For today's lunch, I'm going with a Cars theme. All the kids love the movie Cars. And we even got to see the new Cars attraction while we were at Disney World. Now for today's lunch, I'm not gonna start by making a sandwich. I know, it's shocker, right? Instead, I'm gonna start by cutting a watermelon. I found this really hefty watermelon at Costco and I can't wait to cut into it. Now, since this is a Cars theme, I'm gonna go ahead and use my lightning bolt cookie cutter to cut out the watermelon. And you know what I was thinking? I could probably use this lightning bolt cookie cutter for a Harry Potter themed lunch too and it would work just as well. So now that we have all of our watermelon cut out, it's time to move on to our sandwich. But not just any sandwich, this time I'm making a rolled sandwich. For this, I'm starting with a tomato tortilla. So it's red, just like Lightning McQueen. Now usually I would start by putting cream cheese on the bottom, but unfortunately I forgot to get cream cheese at the store. So I'm gonna add a little bit of my homemade ranch instead, and I'm gonna spread that out. Next, I'm gonna add some slices of turkey. This is just good old smoked turkey from Costco. To go along with this, I'm also adding some bacon and avocado, and then I'm gonna top it all off with some baby spinach. Now, if you're not a fan of spinach, you could definitely leave this off. It's completely optional. So now I'm going to roll this up as tightly as I can. And then to make it cut easier, I'm gonna let it hang out in the fridge for just a few minutes. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare a really special treat for today's lunch. Now, I saw this cannoli kit at Costco and I definitely wanted to try it. There was only two left in the whole store. This comes with everything I need and I think the kids could even help me make these. It looks really easy. Now, no, these aren't necessarily car shaped or anything like that, but definitely make me think of Luigi, the little Italian car from the Cars movie. You know, over in California at DCA, there's actually a Luigi themed ride. It is super fun and they always play Italian music. We love that ride because it's one the whole family can go on, even Griffin. Okay, now back to the lunch. As you can see, I've sliced the sandwiches so they look like tires. In this back corner, I'm going to add our watermelon. They're a little bit big, but that's okay. And in this front corner, I'm going to add lots of cucumber slices. And I did go ahead and cut these so that they look like tires too. And of course, what goes better with cucumbers than homemade ranch? which I put in our little car container, perfect for today's lunch. For an added snack today, I'm also throwing in some cheese crackers. I think these ones look a lot like tires. And I went ahead and put these in our cars themed snack container. I added the cannolis to a separate container. And then last but not least, I have some special cars themed juice bottles. I have several different flavors here. And I even have some that have Mater and some that have Lightning McQueen. I'm gonna go ahead and put a poll right here. You guys can let me know who your favorite Cars character is. Do you like Mater? Do you like Sally? Do you like Cruz Ramirez? Maybe Luigi? Let me know. And there you have it, my car themed lunch for today. Ka chow! Now it looks like they did pretty well today. I have to say that I did go ahead and give Lily less. She hasn't been feeling very well. She hasn't had much of an appetite, but she did at least try everything. Howdy, partner. Today's lunch is Toy Story themed. We are super excited for the new Toy Story movie to come out in June, and I'm super excited for the new Good to Grow Jessie bottle. I'm always excited to see new characters, and Toy Story 4 is gonna have a lot of new characters. Of course, they're bringing back Bo Peep, and then these two little guys. Their names are Bunny and Ducky. So for today's lunch, I'm actually gonna start with the main course first, and it's not a sandwich. For this lunch, I'm gonna start by cooking some of this tri-colored pasta. These are so fun and colorful, and they remind me of the Slinky Dog. Last time we were at Disney World, we did go on Slinky Dog Dash, but we waited in line for 200 minutes, <laughs> so we definitely decided to skip it this time. So now that our Slinky pasta is all cooked, it's time to add lots of other ingredients to make it into a delicious pasta salad. And we have a new friend from Toy Story 4 to help us make our salad. This guy is called Forky. <laughs> That's right, because he looks like a fork. I don't know much about Toy Story 4, but I know that Bonnie makes this little toy and he looks really fun. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set him over here <laughs> and make that pasta salad. Of course, we have our noodles. 
To this, I'm adding some cubed up cheddar cheese, some of these mini turkey pepperoni bites right in there. This is already looking super colorful. Next, I'm adding in some slices of black olive and some broccoli. I did go ahead and cut the broccoli nice and small so it would be bite size in our salad. Same thing with the carrots. These are just baby carrots that I cut up really small. And then I'm gonna top all of these ingredients with some of this zesty Italian dressing. This is pretty much the same pasta salad recipe that my mom used when I was a kid. And it seemed like this pasta salad ended up at every potluck I went to. So now I'm gonna go ahead and stir this all together, maybe shake in a little salt and pepper, and then add it into the lunchbox. For our fruit today, I'm gonna make some fruit rockets in honor of Buzz. These are super cute and really easy. I'm just gonna add some pineapple, followed by a slice of banana, and then I'm gonna top it off with a little triangle of watermelon and it kind of looks like a rocket ship. Now in this corner, I would normally add more vegetables, but our pasta salad does have a good amount of veggies already. So instead, I'm gonna add these special Toy Story goldfish crackers. These are so cute, you guys. I really love all the special goldfish crackers they're coming out with. Now I found these at Target, and they do just taste like regular goldfish, but when you look inside, you'll see that there's a little woody shaped piece and a Buzz Lightyear shaped piece as well. For the sweet treat today, I'm adding half of a cosmic brownie. And then for our drink today, you guessed it, I have our good to grow bottles. The kids can choose between apple juice or fruit punch. Time to see how they did today. Kenzie, not too bad. Jackson, not too bad. But then there's Lily's. You guys, Lily has not been feeling well at all. So she really did not wanna eat this pasta salad. I did get her to eat a few crackers and she did like the fruit. Again, I wanna thank Audible for partnering with me on today's video. Don't forget to go check them out at audible.com slash thefamilyfudge or you can also text familyfudge to 500 500 to get started. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.